a good nerve Shabbos, Parshas by Midbar. I'd like to share a short thought as we approach Shavuos, Bezos Hashem, in less than a week. So on the Shabbos prior to Shavuos, the Kutzka Rebbe walks into his shul and he asks the Hasidim standing around, he says, you know, the Shabbos before Yom Kippur is called Shabbos Shuvah, the Shabbos before Pesach is called Shabbos Hagadol. What's the name of the Shabbos before Shavuos? Does anybody know what to answer? Nobody knew there's a special name for the Shabbos before Shavuos? The Kutzka Rebbe says, I'll tell you, the Shabbos before Shavuos is called Shabbos Derech Eretz. Because our sages teach us, Derech Eretz Kadma Later. Before you have Torah in our lives, before we have Torah in our lives, we need to have Derech Eretz. Okay, sounds simple enough. What's Derech Eretz? We think it's positive qualities. But I'd like to learn, actually, a different definition that our sages point out to us over what is Derech Eretz. So let's learn together a Mishnah in Meseches Beitzah, Daf Mem Amir Aleph, page 40a. The Mishnah tells us, Ein mashkin v'shechten es hamidbar yez, ava mashkin v'shechten es habaisus. You're supposed to first water and shecht certain animals. Um, and the Gemara says, what's with the watering and shechting? Why are you giving an animal to drink before slaughtering it? Why is that necessary? So the Gemara answers simply that the Mishnah is giving us good advice, that if you give an animal fluids before the shechita, before the actual slaughtering of it, it's going to be easier to skin it, to remove the skin later on. Now comes along Rashi to explain this answer of good advice to water the animals. And he says, you know something? All the Gemara here is teaching us is derech eretz. To water an animal before shechting it is derech eretz. What does skinning an animal have to do with derech eretz, according to the way that we understand it? So my father, Zechariah Levracha, when referring to this Rashi on the Gemara, would say, we see from Rashi that derech eretz means proper. It doesn't mean good manners. It's not the depth of derech eretz. What we really mean by derech eretz is, when I'm doing something, what is the proper way to do it? Yes, when we treat people properly, that's derech eretz. There's also a way to properly slaughter an animal. You water it first. If you have an opportunity to make something easier, there's a right way to do it. That's also derech eretz because it's proper. And it's this obligation of understanding of what is correct, what is normal, what is expected of us as people who are tzelem alokim, of sparks of God, who are in the image of God. What's normal? What's proper for us? We need to know that. And this is derech eretz. What is a human being? How are we supposed to? How are we supposed to act? What is the proper way to go about doing something? I just want to share uh, a cute incident that my brother, my old, one of my older brothers, Eliyahu, who currently lives in Baltimore. He told me. I hope I'm getting the details correct. If he ends up seeing this, he'll correct me. But a while back, he was a rebbe in Atlanta, and he told me that he had uh, two brothers in his class. Um, who, whose parents were completely secular. They had come from the Soviet Union, and they ended up in, in the Atlanta Day School because it happened to be in close proximity to their school, and their parents figured, why not let them learn something about Judaism? So before Pesach, my brother was teaching them the halachas of chametz, and that we were mavatal it, we nullify it, we sell it. Either you burn it or you sell it. So on Erev Pesach, these two boys, 11 and 12 years old, they decide, listen, our parents don't go for this stuff. They don't keep Pesach, but we have to get rid of our chametz. So they had a started box of Oreo cookies, and they knew that they're 11 and 12. If they start a bonfire in their backyard, they're in big trouble. So they decided, without asking their parents, to knock on their non-Jewish neighbor's door and ask if their non-Jewish neighbor will buy the cookies. Okay, so they do that. They knock on their neighbor's door. The guy comes to the door, and they say, would you buy our started box of Oreo cookies? He says... I don't want your cookies, and especially because you started the box already. No, thank you. They said, listen, we have to sell it. So the guy looks at them and says, here, take a dollar and scram. Just go. I don't want your cookies. I don't want it. So, but to them, Baruch Hashem now was sold. The guy gave them a dollar. Okay, so it's his. It's sold. They double wrap the cookies they put in their basement. After Pesach, they go back to his house. They knock on the door. This guy's wife is standing there. And they say, is your husband home? She says, no. He's sent on military duty to Iraq. They try explaining to her about this business deal they had with her husband. They sold them before Pesach. They want to buy it back after Pesach. She has no clue what they're talking about. They say, listen, take a dollar from us. We're just asking you to take this dollar. And with this dollar, we're purchasing back our Oreo cookies. She looks at them and says, no. No, thank you. And basically slams the door in their face. 
So now the Oreo cookies don't belong to them and the owner doesn't want it back either. So what are they gonna do? So they, what they ended up doing is they put the Oreo cookies into a plastic bag with a handle and they attached it to this guy's backyard fence and ran. That's what happened. They come back to school and they asked my brother Elio, they said, Rebbe, are we, are we stealing if we eat the cookies? That was their halacha shalom. Is it, are we, are we, you know, if, if the owner doesn't want it, is it hefker now? Is it ownerless? Or is it stealing if we actually take it back? Okay, that's a little incident that takes place in the, in the day school in Atlanta. These are boys that have their hearts. It's either proper or it's not proper. It's either the right thing to do or it's not the right thing to do. That's der- Derech Eretz is knowing that there's a normal way to go about doing things, to get our heads straight, to, to clear up our minds, and to make sure, as we're Mechabal the Torah, and prior to Gabbos Torah, over the course of this next week, when Mirz Hashem, Shavuos is coming, this beautiful and, and day when we got the biggest gift ever given to mankind, is to take the time to think to ourselves... Is my life really full of derech Is it full of properness? Is it full of ways? Am I acting in ways where I'm doing things in the correct fashion? Have a wonderful, wonderful Shabbos. Still missing everybody, but things are looking like they're picking up. And Bez Hashem, I look forward to being back together in the very near future. Good Shabbos.